Florida and Doak Campbell Stadium, home to some great Heisman Trophy winners, legendary coaches, and today the Seminole War Chant will be rocking this place. Today we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent, can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the AAC, the Memphis Tigers, taking on the 11th ranked team in the land, the Florida State Seminoles. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Seminoles will kick it away to start us off. He'll bring it out. It's Smith. He gets it across the 25 to the 27 after bringing it out of the end zone. So the Memphis Tigers offense is on the field for the first time today. And as this star running back comes onto the field, everybody in the stadium knows he's going to get it. The defense knows it. Doing something about it is quite a different thing. It's hard to stop him. He's hard to handle because he can do it in so many ways. He can run by you. He can run through you. He really has the whole package, and that's why he's a superstar, and that's why they'll feed him early and often. They were able to make the completion, but he had to pick his way for just a little bit. Needed a little more help to spring him for some yardage. Yeah, if you're going to have success when you throw it outside like that, you're going to need some more blocking and better blocking downfield. Give the defense credit, though. They were able to rally and made a tackle. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. You know, as a quarterback, when you're doing this zone replay, you got to read that defensive end. If he crashes down hard inside to take the running back away, right away you know now you're keeping the football. Nice job. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Fires left. Complete downfield. That'll be enough for the first down, and they'll mark it at the 48. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win, and gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. To throw, it's Hennigan. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. I love the job here by the linebacker. He just kind of floats and he's shuffling and he's waiting to see which way the quarterback's going to go with the football. Not able to snag it out of the air, but hey, batting it away. It's a big time play. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Makes the grab over the middle. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Memphis just keeps moving the chains on this drive. They're set up with another first down. They'll run it from the gun. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. It's a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I tell you, they tried to go draw in the middle of the field. That back had nowhere to go with the football. He was tackled right away from him. Now the eighth play of the opening drive, but this time facing third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. That's caught. It's Anderson. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. 
That's why as a defense, you feel okay playing man coverage on third down because you know you've got linebackers and you've got players on your defense that can cover these dangerous running backs mano a mano. Nice job tackling in the open field. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved, but still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. So the Florida State Seminoles offense will take the field for the first time. And there's no doubt, guys, we will be focused on these two star playmakers on the outside. I'm curious to see how much man coverage we're going to see today. I don't know if either of these defenses is confident enough to go mano a mano with these two dudes on the field. They're two of the best in the nation. These cornerbacks aren't looking for man-to-man -man coverage. I can promise you that. They'd be like, give me some help over here. But we're going to see some split screens, and we're going to see who had more catches, who had more yards. We're definitely going to be breaking that down this game. Got three on first down at second and seven. Dropping back into Uyangalale. And that pass picked off. Well, they didn't let him get loose for a big return, but he still made the big play, and they'll take over at the 17. Not the start this kid was looking for. Very first pass of the day gets picked off. This is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks on the back end, and he's got to be real careful with his eyes, not telegraph throws like he did right there. He's going to have to settle in. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. And I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, baby. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football and we got the lead. On second down, just keeps firing. Touchdown, Tiger! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. When you're handed a break with unbelievable field position like that, you better finish the deal, and they did. You saw the quarterback jog on the field. I think he gave a high five to every one of those players coming off that just put them in position to go score that touchdown. That QB knew this was a golden opportunity, and boy, he took advantage of it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming to the ground with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. What a good job by the defense to force that play outside. And it's tough when you're a defense and you like to play fast and aggressive. Those counter plays are usually something that's good to run at them, but... If you can be smart and stay sound and stay home and understand when people start pulling your direction, forget the fakes the other way, you can stay home, be productive, get big plays like this for your defense. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball too. That play, not so much. You gotta do a better job reeling it in.
This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Scanning the field, it's Uyunga Lale. And they fail to hook up on third down. Man, that's a couple bad throws. Last possession obviously ends in an interception by this quarterback, and now you throw another one, you know, in harm's way. You got to make sure you're throwing to the open guy. Make sure you're taking care of that football. We can't have any more turnovers. The Seminoles will punt it away on fourth down. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the returner will be dragged down. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Now the play fake. Got it in the middle. It's Taylor. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And if you had any questions about this quarterback's arm talent, now you've got your answer. Wow. Just on the edge of the red zone. First and 10 from the 21. He's looking to throw it. Good quickness to grab it off the balance. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! Defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They have got to shore up their play in the back half. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. They'll give it to the back. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. And he left the first defender grabbing at air before he was finally tackled. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking downfield, it's Uyunglele. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. Anytime a wide receiver makes a big play like that, images of Peter Warwick start flashing in Seminole's heads. And man, just the, that time, that era with Bobby Bowden and those offenses, you just think about high flying, every position, game breakers, and I think a swag, Reese. Just guys that I know I could throw to the outside that had swag that could take it to the house make big plays. 
Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Wide out in motion. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Now on third down, this offense has been rolling. Can the defense stand tall? They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. They'll knock him down behind the line, and that's how we'll end this quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Memphis has the lead. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. The Knowles will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the return man will have no chance as the ball sails out of bounds. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. I'll tell you what, that read game really slows you down defensively. Kind of makes you play responsibility football. And when you get chunks like that on first down as an offense, I would continue to come back to it. This offense has a second down play. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. They're getting this guy lathered up. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Quick pass on the fly motion. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. To the air, it's Hennigan. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. Memphis will send the punt team onto the field. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And the punt will hit at the 7, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Leaves it with the running back. And you want to run the football. Right? That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. Now on first down from the 30. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the shotgun, the inside give. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. 
Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run, not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. Now on third down for this offense. They'll try to pop the draw. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. When those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling. They're out to the 35. You see it more and more. Smaller wide receivers. I don't care about their size anymore. I put them in the slot. I let them get a good matchup. They're so quick, people can't get their hands on them. They make plays, and I feed them the football. These are guys that have a lot of catches throughout a season. Give to the running back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Back to throw. It's Hennigan getting some heat. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. This is a good sign for this defense. The rate they were going, not touching the quarterback, him already having two touchdown passes in the first half, this was not going to be a fun football game to watch. Now they're turning the tide a little bit, getting a little bit of pressure, getting a sack. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. It's caught. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Memphis will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. Got the quick completion. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route run. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots in zones. You gotta get him involved. They'll line up for a second down play. The give is to Williams. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, give him one. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. Looking to throw it to Uyangalale. Fires to the middle. Lost the defense, he's wide open. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. 
And what a massive play for the offense. Not only getting the football across the 50, but they've now put themselves in position to steal a few more points here before the half. And the Knolls come to the line in the hurry up. Going up top on first down. Got his man to the left. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at 34. As a defensive guy, you use the sideline as your 12th man. You push the receiver out that direction. Look at the wide right receiver. Still doing a great job of getting small and getting that foot in bounds, making the play, and catching the ball. Comes out throwing on first down. It just left that pass short. Not enough juice on that one. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment and they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. Ball still spotted at the 34. It's second and 10 after the incompletion. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic and fortunate to get it back. Man, the defense is making it tough on this quarterback early. They already have an interception. They almost came away with another one there. They're doing a great job reading his eyes and breaking on the ball. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. Back to the air one more time. Right down the middle. It's complete. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the end route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. He wants to throw. He's got it and still on his feet. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Now they'll run the draw. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Wants to throw. It's Uyangalale. He makes the catch at the end zone. Touchdown, no! That dude's really big. How in the world did they lose him? Because down here, he does a lot of blocking, and you play a lot of man coverage in the red zone. And what do you do? You peek in the backfield, and you lose the big fellow. I don't know how he lost that big of a guy, but he lost him, Reese. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they closed within 10, down 17-7. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. So they've got the lead down to 10 here. A little more interesting as they're set to kick it away. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown or get a field goal. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. He'll come out throwing on first down. Got it in the middle, it's straight. The offense will quickly use the timeout. Well, they execute the end route, and how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. A strike downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense, 
Next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Throws to the wideout. The pass is incomplete, and there are two kicks remaining on the clock. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close, and when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them, and guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. All right, guys. Looks like we've got a great one in Tallahassee going on. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Dope Campbell Stadium. Memphis ready to kick it deep and get the second half going. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Maybe adjustments or attitude or attitude adjustments. They've got to find a way to run the ball at least some here in the second half. I do think you said something that's important. I think running the football is an attitude. Like, it starts with the offensive lineman and being physical, having a nasty attitude, running back, same thing. I think they need more of that in the second half. You know, and I think if any of you're in this defense, you have an opportunity to make a statement here. Yeah, I know you guys went in at halftime and you riled yourselves up and you told yourself that you think you can run the ball on us. On this very first drive, we're going to prove to you just like in the first 30 minutes you cannot they finally get him stopped but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back oh that is a rope for the completion in this offense i'll tell you think about great seminal quarterbacks the three w's wanky winston ward dudes that could change the game heisman trophy winners every defensive coordinator was scared every time they had to play the seminoles because of that vaunted passing attack and this guy i think he has d coordinator seeing ghosts because this guy can play at a high level Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Going to the running game. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. Saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. It'll be a draw. At the 45 on its way. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You could throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. Right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. You're starting like that. Now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run. This offense, if they can create that run physicality, now it opens up everything else. 
And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll leave it with him. Across the 25, he's got room. Is that stiff arm even a human arm? It, it looks like some type of steel bludgeoning device on his way to a first down. Well, it's a really nice job of the offense mixing it up on this drive. We've seen some nice plays throwing it, and how about that one running it too? Great push up front. The Seminoles will line it up on first and 10. The give is to Williams. Dropped after a pickup of four down to the 16. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. He's all the way down to the three. Any electric run has him set up. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer, I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all that, this is four down territory, too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense and how can you give them a chance to score this touchdown. Show some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to getting back in this ball game. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. They go 83 yards on the drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Memphis has the ball back, and the offense ready to go to work. They'll go to the ground. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't Olay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. You gotta go set that edge. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. You gotta do a better job on the perimeter. It's not gonna be enough in this offense just to catch passes. You gotta go execute your assignment. That corner should have been blocked, and they should have gotten a bigger gain on that outside run. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Dropping back, it's Hennigan looking to the big tight end. Makes a connection, and there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his run. Memphis picking up the tempo. Quarterback on the keeper. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Looking down the middle. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior. And he is lucky to get it back. 
And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved. And I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication. And it can really rattle an offense. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Complete to the left. And another big game for this offense. They are putting explosive pass after explosive pass up in this one. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good. So efficient. Such a good route runner. Got the speed. Got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him. And especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. From the gun, running back on the move. Pulled down after a pickup of five. A statement run in the red zone to the 13. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Pulls and throws off the RPO. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. Fans are bringing the noise on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. These fans raising the volume on second and goal. Back to pass. It's Hennigan. Let's it fly. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Memphis. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. Let's see if they can roll snake eyes in a good way and get the deuce. He'll set up to throw. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. He'll do it himself. Fighting off the defender. And he delivers the angry stiff arm, but is greeted by an angrier defense. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Let's see what they've got on second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. No question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers, and both receivers have come up big through three. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. And the Seminoles brought to the ground, but not before picking up the first. 
Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter, and two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game. The give to the back. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. After the run, 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 now to throw. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And he's got it inside the 35. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. The Seminoles had this offense rolling. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's West. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. It's amazing how fluid and potent an offense can seem when you get a great pickup on first down and the tight end's a terrific place to go. Tight ends nowadays are kind of like cheat codes. I mean, they, they just know so much about right here. Seeing zone, no one to sit it down, boom. Positive yards, nice positive play for this offense. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Yeah, and this offense, listen, we're in fourth feet, right? We got, we got to score a bunch of points here. We're down. We're trailing. We got to go fast, but we also got to get first downs. And that's a nice job sneaking in the run, getting the first down, and now we crank the tempo back up. And the Seminoles getting set on first and ten. They go to the ground. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The give is to Williams. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. The Seminoles will try to put one on the board on first and goal. ahead and the defense sold out to stop the run and they do here on first down man not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space I know block better how about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes can the D deny them on second and goal barges ahead he had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. Turning to the running game here on third and goal. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Seminole! Before that score, considering last rights, now all of a sudden, they're not dead yet. In fact, they're feeling much better, and they're alive, and they've got a chance. And I'm looking on the field right now, I'm looking at their sideline. They're energized, Reese. After that last score, all of a sudden, they believe they can come back and win this game. This is a totally different-looking team than what we saw earlier. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punt. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 
looking for blockers. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. Anderson with the carry. Hammers ahead for a yard out to the 12. And this is a pressing time for this defense. They, they've got to understand, they're backed up a little bit. They're going to run the football. They don't want to make a mistake. So I think this is the time I'm a little bit more aggressive. i, I got to get this football back to my offense because I'm trailing. So I look for this defense to get a little bit aggressive. Running back searching for a hole. Oh, the ball squirts out. Now the defense has got it, and they're going the other way. And that right there, probably the biggest play in this game so far. The offense has the lead, and they're just trying to run the football to run this clock out. But the defense able to knock it out, jump on it. Now all of a sudden, this game has a completely different feel. Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive. Did. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. Operating in the red zone here on second down. give to the back he steps and powers and works his way they finally get him down at the two really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal they'll try to pick it up on the ground This offense being able to run the football late in the game when it matters and punch it in for the touchdown and more importantly take the lead Up by one, they'll try to get the deuce and make it a field goal edge. They'll try to slam it in. Into the end zone, the two-point conversion is good, and now they're up by a field goal. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped and it'll be first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Unloads quickly. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his tool box. Anderson with the carry. Looks as if he'll have enough to pick up the Memphis first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. Using the quick game. 
And I love working the slot receivers, and you see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot, maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense, for sure. After that last completion, it's second down. The play action fake. Looking deep down the right side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Yeah, and he had an opportunity to make such a big play. Listen, he wasn't wide open with nobody around him, but you got to make that play. You got a little bit of space. You got to haul that in, make your quarterback look good, and make a big play for this offense. Dropping back, it's Hennigan. Quickly complete. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence that this offense is going to make a play. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. They want to just keep throwing it. The short hands, it's straight. Stop just inside the 30 at the 29. It's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. The quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Just inside the 30 at the 29, it's first and 10. He looks that one in nicely. Well, they're able to get the completion right now. You know the sense of urgency is up right here. They're in position to go win this game. Yeah, and defensively, take your time getting off piles. Make them eat clock. Get your defense really, really quickly and make sure you don't give up any big plays by not being organized. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Man, you know the defensive coordinator on that play was holding his breath because in the fourth quarter, you've got one of the fastest players in the game going deep on you. And that's going to be a helmet sticker for somebody. Like forcing an incompletion against that guy, that's incredible. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. And the pressure will get there. The sack. He goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. All the plays, all the plans, all the schemes, and it will be decided on this kick. And this to tie us up in the final minute. He boomed it through a 50-yard field goal, showing off that powerful leg. Man, that is a massive field goal. So much pressure on him. With just a couple of seconds left here in the game, he knocks it through the uprights. It looks like this thing's going into overtime, as long as your defense does not completely screw this thing up. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. They'll run it from the gun. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. Now on second down. Right back to the well. And they'll find their way back to the line of scrimmage, and now it's time to find their way back to the locker room, and this game is over.
The analytics nerds will tell you that a four-yard pickup on first down is a successful play. Let's see what they have on first and ten. They run the reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. He'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. The give is to Williams. Tough sledding there as he picks up one to the 29. It's a makeable field goal from the 29-yard line. Let's see how aggressive they are on third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Makes the grab. It's Lee. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. So they'll send out the field goal team to try to take the lead here in overtime. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And with that, they've taken the lead. Down by a field goal and a touchdown will win it. Let's see what they've got on first down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. To the air, it's Hennigan. Unloads it left. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. This crowd rising up, sensing that its defense needs some help. Grab behind the line. It's straight. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Anderson with the carry. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Huge third down here. A field goal will send us to another overtime, but a touchdown would win it. He's looking to throw on third and short. Finds his big tight end. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. First and goal and a touchdown will win it. Trying to punch it in. Striving for the goal line. Loose football. Oh, looks like the offense was able to recover it. Now second and goal and right in the teeth of this noise. I'll try to power it in. He got it in. A walk-off touchdown in overtime game on the line and they've got to be the more physical side great job getting blocks up front he was able to skirt his way into the end zone david to win this game and that's why i want the ball second in ot i know exactly what i need to go get it done they take it down the field run in the end zone and end the football game and that's going to do it for us from here for jesse palmer david pollock i'm reese davis and this has been another presentation of ea sports college football